Hey everybody, we're doing a little uh, uh, This is the Bronx TV. I'm here with Reggie Howard. He said hello to me. He didn't have that beard when I knew him. We're here at Dewey Clinton High School. They are dedicating the Clinton gym to uh, one of the all-time greatest players you ever saw, and that was Tiny Archibald. And uh, Reggie, you coach where now? I coach now at the Longwood Legends, formerly of Rucker High School, Hokomo Rucker High School. And Rucker, as you know, was one of the famous parks where Tiny Archibald played ball at. Tell you know me a little bit about, you said Tiny raised you. Talk to me about the uh, yeah, influence Tiny, he had. Tiny grew up in my neighborhood. Tiny grew up in a project called Patterson Houses, right across the street from my neighborhood, which is Mitchell Houses. Tiny used to use our community center because their project didn't have a community center three times a week, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays. And what he did was he tutored me, Rod Strickland, Kyrie Irving's father, Dedrick Irving. He mentored us, and we all aspired to get into the NBA or become a grassroots or coach or you know, because he, he taught us everything, he mentored us, you know what I'm saying, help us become good young men. And you're, and you're still living it. But I think it's important to mention, he went on from Dewey Clinton High School right. to be one of the greatest players in the right. history of the NBA. Right. But what Reggie is talking about, he did it after his time in the NBA. That's, that's the right. kind of man we're, we're really celebrating today. And at the end of the day, he went back to get school and get his PhD at the same time. The man just had a heart transplant. I mean, what else can you say about Tony Archibald, man? He's, one of, I would call God's gifts to the earth, man. I mean, especially for us coming from the South Bronx. And, and I'll, I'll tell you this, as a fan growing up, now I am a Dewey Clinton alum, class okay. of 71, okay. but as a fan of basketball and city basketball, if you were to draw a picture of the perfect point guard, you would draw a picture of Tiny Archibald. He yeah. could shoot, obviously he could pass, he could do everything you need, play defense, he was the best of, best of all time. Uh, and, and let me tie it, I'll tie the story to a little both of you guys. If you take Tiny Archibald and look at my neighborhood, he helped develop Rod Strickland. Rod Strickland is the godfather for Kyrie Irving right now. Kyrie Irving's father grew up in our neighborhood as well, Projects. I mean, his father played pro in Australia, so you look at today's modern version of Tiny Archibald, that would be Kyrie Irving. You know what I'm saying? And Kyrie Irving is what you would call a modern day version of Tiny Archibald and Rod Strickland put together. And they all from our community. And, and the last thing I want to ask you, there are so many NBA greats and others, I don't recognize them because they're all getting old and they're all wearing beards like you are. Uh, guys you recognize who are here? Yeah. Well, you have uh, Bob McCullough here who ran, the Rucker, who ran the Rucker tournament. You have Floyd Lane here who was from City College, actually the coach, played in the 59-60 championship team. He was my coach at City College New York, where I played there four years for some Vernon. You also have here uh, I saw Leroy Emmett, Hendricks. I saw Emmett Remember? Bryant. So Emmett Bryant. And I saw here. Ron Brown. Ron Brown. And don't forget the famous Dolph Shades. You know what I'm saying as well? Yeah, yeah. Dolph Shades, I mean, amazing story. I played at City College, got MVP and the CCNY NYU game at Madison Square Garden. And I got the Dolph Shades MVP trophy from Dolph Shades himself. Let's not forget about him. And also, I let, the young men and women wearing Clinton uniforms, what yeah. a great opportunity for oh, them. Oh, man, I mean, spectacular. They, they get to, to do what you did, yeah. visualize themselves yeah. like this, but realize there's nothing easy about it. I was trying to explain to some of the young guys, uh, hopefully they can make a connection. I mean, when you have legends running like this, we learn from the people we are around. You know what I mean? So, like you learn from the people around the Bronx, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, the kids hope they can learn from some of these legends they're around, Gary. Reggie, I'm so glad you said hello. I wouldn't have recognized you. But we always conclude these videos by saying the name of the, the name of the website, and that is, why do we do it? Because this is... TheBronx.info. The That's right. That's <laughs> what this is. Thank you, you Reggie.